Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kei. So this is the 25th of August and this is on Wednesday. So this is a um, video session, it's not a live stream, but hopefully you enjoyed today's video session. So today I would like to introduce about the Tokyo Box strategy because I have, this is actually one of my favorite uh, strategies to use. Uh, when it comes to looking for the entry edge, I also use Tokyo Box Breakout. So today I will screen some charts and I will also share uh, how you can set this Tokyo Box in TradingView. So let's get started right now. So for those who are new to my channel, my name is Kei and I am a full-time Japanese Forex trader who is living in Dubai since July. Before July, I was in Tokyo, Japan, but after July, I'm living here in Dubai. And this channel, this YouTube channel, is all about using Ichimoku to capture trend and reversals, and also to help you become a non-losing trader, which is the very first step you have to achieve before you become a profitable trader. So hopefully, you enjoy today's video session. So this video is recorded about two hours before um, this uh, usually is live streams. So looks like markets are a bit inactive today. So I will talk about the specific topic, which is about the Tokyo box. So let me squeeze my face. Okay, and uh, just a quick disclaimer as usual, um, this content is uh, basically based on my own understanding knowledge. So when you take trades, please do add in risk. And if, if you can follow the guidelines and rules in this video session, that will be great on the comment box. Okay, so let me switch to the chart. And so Tokyo Box strategy is one of my favorite strategies and I use it on the JPY pairs. Based on my experience, Tokyo Box breakout works on these JPY pairs mainly. So let's focus on these JPY pairs. So on the right, I have Euro JPY, UCS JPY, and the Pound JPY, AUD JPY, and CAD JPY and Swiss Run JPY. I will cover these six pairs and C charts by Tokyo Box. So let me show the Tokyo Box here. And here it is. Let's see. I have to go down to the one hour chart. And you can see these little yellow squares, and these are the Tokyo Box. And what Tokyo Box simply means is that this is the Tokyo session. So where the yellow box starts, let me put the vertical line, where the box starts here, this is the beginning of the Tokyo session. And all the way to the end, end of the box, this is the end of the Tokyo session. So basically Tokyo box is capturing this Tokyo start and end session. And also, it takes high and low within the Tokyo session. So, in this case, on the on this today's Tokyo high on Euro JPY was over here. Let's see here at uh, 129.04, and the Tokyo low was here at this level at 128.76. So. This is called the Tokyo box. This square area of here is called the Tokyo box, or what I just named Tokyo box, or you can just call it Tokyo session. So, and usually it tends to go towards the breakout direction after the Tokyo session ends and towards the, yeah, towards the London session the market tends to go towards that direction. So today, right now, looks like it's a bit bullish. This is consecutive anyway, but it's a bit bullish. So if the market breaks this level, 
then the market could go up continuously. And this is the Tokyo Box breakout strategy. So there was a week technically, there was a week pointing upwards here, but you have to see the candle close. If the candle close in one hour comes above the Tokyo session high, then that means that it's a breakout. So technically right now, it hasn't broken yet, but it looks like it's about to break in this direction, upwards in this case. So uh, before talking about the setting, let me screen the pairs on the JPY pairs. So Euro JPY, once again, um, to me, it looks like it broke, breaks the previous high. So once it does, then um, that will be a great entry edge. I mean, you have to also look at the Ichimoku and the lower time frame confirmations, but Tokyo Box breakout itself can give you a good, great idea of which way the market is trying to go after the Asian session ends. So this is Euro JPY, and let me turn to the USD JPY. So here is USD JPY, and it looks like today the market broke the Tokyo box higher in this direction. So this is uptrend, this is consecutive N waves, and this is uptrend in terms of this wave analysis. So the market might retest the Tokyo session high and continuously goes up in this direction. And also this previous resistance level of Tokyo session at 109.86 is a previous resistance as well from yesterday. So it looks like this breakout uh, might be a signal for this continuous uptrend in this direction. So that's the USDJPY. And how about pound JPY? So pound JPY today, it hasn't broken yet because the high is at 150.76 and the close levels are still below the candles. So we have to wait until the market breaks that level and look for the buy chance if it happens. And here is AUD JPY. Looks like AUD JPY broke the previous high here, broke the previous high, and now it's retracing backwards. So from here, after the breakout, Ima retests the previous high in the Tokyo session and continuously goes up this way. If it happens, then you can follow the uptrend. But in this case, it might go into the Tokyo range. If that's the case, then that means the market is within the range after the Tokyo session. So simply you have to wait for some other confirmations for looking to, to capture the entry edge. Simply in this case, if the market retraces, then you can't use the Tokyo Box strategy in this particular case. And the next one is CADJPY. And CADJPY um, is still within the Tokyo Box. The price, the market is still within the Tokyo Box. So simply we have to wait until the market breaks either direction. If it happens on the London or New York session, then you can follow that direction. And finally, here is Swiss Run JPY. Um, Swiss Run JPY also, this is a bit range market today. This is Tokyo high and low. Tokyo high is at 120.20. Tokyo low is 119.95 and the market was about to break but it hasn't broken yet and it is retracing backwards now. So we have to wait until the market close comes above the Tokyo box in one hour chart and capture the breakout and expect the market goes towards that direction if it happens like this. So let me explain about the sessions indicator, how I show this yellow box. So this is the TradingView platform. And on TradingView, you can search here the sessions. You can search sessions and you can find the one here by um, Aurox AIF. And this is the one that I use right now, sessions on the chart and simply click on that one and 
have it up here, sessions, and you come to the setting, and what it do is, so this indicator captures the sessions on different uh, time zones. So it says London session, New York, and Tokyo, sorry. New York, and London, Tokyo, and Sydney. And what I do is I only enable the Tokyo session. So make sure you turn, uh, you tick off all these other sessions but Tokyo session. And for the Tokyo session, Tokyo session starts at 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. So this is, in my chart, this is UTC, but uh, for some reason I found that the Tokyo session start and end is by 20, I mean 8 p.m. until 4 a.m. in my trading view. So if your time zone is different, then it might be different, but anyhow, uh, simply set 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. in Japan time and set it here, Tokyo session area, and only enable Tokyo session. And after you, this, you do this, then come to style, come to style, and you tick off all, all everything but the one from the second from the bottom here. And this one is the Tokyo sessions background setting. So you only enable this Tokyo sessions background and tick off all um, everything else. And on this Tokyo background, you put this, I put this yellow and I put it transparent like this. I put uh, like 59% transparent so that it doesn't cover the whole candles. If you make it 100% like this, then it covers all the candles and you can't see the candlesticks in behind. So make sure you, tr you make it transparent like this so that you can also see the candles in the behind. Then you have these Tokyo sessions. So, um, so basically, um, Tokyo session breakout strategy works towards the direction uh, of the Tokyo breakout, as the name suggests. But um, it's not everything, actually. It's not everything. So, because sometimes, you know, the market goes towards the direction after the breakout, or sometimes it becomes fake and returns back to the range. And the important point is how can you differentiate between the fake Tokyo Box breakout or a true Tokyo Box breakout? And the answer is pretty simple. Um, so here comes Ichimoku. So starting from the Euro JPY, you have to be in the trend direction of Ichimoku. So, and so in this case, uh, Euro JPY daily chart is retracing backwards to Kijun Sen. So it looks like this retracement back to Kijun Sen is still valid. We have some small pips up to the Kijun Sen, which is at 129.25. So today, the Tokyo session can be broken upwards, is expected. So with that in mind, you go down to one hour chart and simply show the Tokyo box and if it breaks towards this direction, then you can expect the market retraces back to Kijun Sen. Kijun Sen on the daily chart is at 129.25. So this is how we can read which way the market tends to break the Tokyo session. And if it doesn't happen, then simply stay away from this market. So, and also you can show the Ichimoku in one hour chart. So simply show Ichimoku Kinko Hyo five lines in one hour chart. And right now, this is not a good example because this is flat still, it's flat. So the market might retrace back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. But if you see Kumo up and Kijun Sen also up in one hour chart, then the probability for the market to break the Tokyo session towards a retracement direction on the daily chart becomes higher. So in this way, you can also capture which way the market is trying to break on this Tokyo box. So 
this is example on Euro JPY, but let's look at some other pairs. So here is USDJPY, and USDJPY is also range on the daily chart. So in this is in the P wave still, so there is no direction. You can also look at the forward chart. In the forward chart, this is also range. So in terms of these higher time frames, we don't know which way the market is going. So simply in this case, you go down to the one hour chart and see if there's a direction in one hour chart. And here in this example, there is no direction because Kumo is still bearish. It hasn't twisted yet. And Kijun Sen is technically pointing upwards, but since this is below Kumo, this Kijun Sen angle might not gonna be so reliable. So with that in mind, the market might come backwards anytime soon. However, today, as we saw earlier, based on this Tokyo box, it broke upwards now. So in the range in market, daily chart, forward chart, one hour chart is range. So in that case, this Tokyo box breakout might be fake. It might be fake. So simply, you have to wait until the market bounces from the previous highs and purely based on the price action, if the market is still going upwards this way, then you can buy at that point. But always keep in mind that the market might reverse its backwards anytime soon. Even if the market bounces here, it might become a double top and the market might reverse backwards. So if you wish to take trades in this condition, I would recommend to take less risks like 1% or even 0.5% in this particular trade. So depending on the market condition, you have to change the risk percentage and also um, you have to change a minor change these strategies a little bit to be adaptable to this changing market. So here is pound JPY and this is daily chart with Ichimoku and right now Kijun Sen flat Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen dead cross below the Kumo and the Chikou Span touching. So simply this is range. The market could go up and down. We don't know which it's going. And how about the forward chart? In the forward chart, this is also ranging too. So there is no directions in higher time frames. So even if you see the, uh, the market breaks, the Tokyo box today, it might be fake. So the market looks like the market is about to break upwards, but if in, even if it happens, it might be traced backwards. So this is not a good idea to use Tokyo Box strategy here. So you see how I differentiate uh, between which pair or which market to use the Tokyo Box strategy or not. Hopefully you get this idea so that you, your uh, winning probability becomes a bit higher and also uh, your reward can be much bigger than the risk per trade. So here is the AUDJPY daily chart. And this one is not a good timing to trade because the market all the way retraced backwards to the Kijun Sen in the daily chart. So from here, it might be going downwards. Or if the market breaks the Kijun Sen, and then it might continue to go up. So, but based on the daily chart, we have no clue which way it goes. So in this case, I look at the forward chart. And in this forward chart, this is also range because the price is still in the Kumo. So when you see the price in the Kumo, it's like airplane into the storm. So it might be spiky and volatile. So even if you see the breakout towards upside and Tokyo box, it might become fake and it might reverse this anytime soon. So this is not also a good idea to use Tokyo box in this, in this case. And here is CADJPY. This one is also the similar case. The Kumo is still flat, Kijun Sen flat, and the Chikou Span overlapping, so it's range. And in the forward chart, the price is in the Kumo now, so we have to wait until the market breaks the Kumo, upwards in this case, and then you see Tokyo Box breakout upwards too, today or tomorrow. And then this Tokyo Box breakout becomes more reliable. But unless you confirm that, it might become a fake breakout. And finally, 
covering this uh, Swiss franc JPY. This one is also range in the daily chart and also in the forex range too. There is a technic technically a Kumo breakout, but I would say this is this can be fake Kumo breakout because the Kumo flat still and Kijun Sen flat. So it may be traced back to Kijun Sen and goes up in this direction. Or it might simply break the previous high upwards in this direction. But uh, this is there is no direction in higher time frames, so I would avoid using the Tokyo box breakout in this case. In the one hour chart, it's also flat too. So even if you see Tokyo box breakout towards, let's say, upwards today, it might become fake and the market can retrace backwards anytime soon. So Tokyo box breakout uh, is a powerful tool and it's a very good, great strategy to use but uh, if you use it on whatever conditions in the market, you might, you might get fake out, fake breakouts. So hopefully you can combine this talk box with Ichimoku trend analysis in higher time frames so that it becomes um, higher probability for the market to go towards that direction. Um, or um, if you are not familiar with this multiple time frame confirmations, then simply um, you can just show sessions with the Ichimoku like, and see just to capture Ichimoku trend direction in the same time frame one hour chart. So let's say in this case, for example, in this market here, um, the market goes up in this direction and you see Kumo up and Kijun Sen up, right? And Tenkan Sen up and Shikou Span above the candles. So this is a new high right now and this is uptrending in one hour chart alone and in this condition if you see Tokyo box breakout upwards it becomes reliable so let me switch it to the Tokyo box indicator here and you can see that there, there this is still within the Tokyo box and let's see in the next candlestick it went all the way high here and there was a nice breakout of the resistance level and after Tokyo session ends the market still looks to be uptrending like in this direction. So simply you can use the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo with the same time frame one hour chart. And also if you see the trending market in one hour chart, then you can capture Tokyo Box breakout and that will be also a good entry edge. But I would still recommend you to look at the lower time frames like five or 15 minute time frames and look for an entry edge. Because Tokyo Box breakout alone uh, can be fake. As I mentioned before, even if, even, even if you see the market is trending up or down according to Ichimoku direction, sometimes it becomes fake. So it's always nice to confirm the entry edge in lower time frames, in my opinion. But uh, hopefully you master this strategy because this is very powerful. And uh, this is the things that I use Every day, I screen charts, I look at Tokyo Box on these JPY pairs, and if I see a good setup, that will be a great entry edge. So, and I have, uh, you know, videos in the past where, about, where I talk about Tokyo Box breakout, and also I talk about it on the real moving market in the past. So you can watch these videos and um, take more knowledge and experience of this Tokyo Box breakout. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today's video session. So today I will be going out in about uh, about 30 minutes or so and uh, just uh, relax the rest of the day. So uh, I hope you have a great day today. This is Wednesday and it looks like markets are a bit inactive. So I have no trades right now. Um, I didn't take any positions uh, today because the market is ranging but this is also the part of the process um, you don't have to take trades every day you only take trades when you see the edge and when you see the markets trending or retracing backwards as per Ichimoku confirmations otherwise simply stay away because like I said before you don't get paid according to how many trades you take or how many hours you watch charts, but you get paid according to the fact that the market goes towards your direction. 
And if that's the case, then simply if uh, you know, stay away. If the market is ranging or inactive like this, and simply enjoy day is my trading psychology. So uh, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it for today's video session. And also on my second channel, or well, actually I'm thinking to change the name of the second channel to something else, but um, I am actually posting some videos about uh, little, little, little topics about the live streams or what I do. Um, I will start to give some small talks on this uh, second channel. So uh, whenever you see this post, you can come there and enjoy the videos. So I hope you have a great day today and great trading week this week as well. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. All right. Matane, everyone. Bye for now. Thank you.